Yeah, agree parking job. Today, um, got these worn out looking terminal bolts on this truck. Probably bought some new ones. So, we're gonna swap them out. The stall is pretty simple. I'll show you how. First, remove tool out of the bag. Tool. Then, disconnect your negative battery cable and your positive. Okay. Now before you get electrocuted, you can start working on these things. I'm replacing these, but you can't really see. They kind of rounded off. The threads are even stripped a little bit. They don't really last too long. So, next step is, see all these got a little lip in them? That little lip is behind this little kind of rubber. Right there, the lip hides in that little rubber uh, lip. So what you basically do is just kind of press it out with a... Uh, well, these are coming right out actually. Sometimes they get stuck, but keep your fingers, pop them out. Every time I have to use a um, pl pair of pliers, I just say they beat the hell. The threads. Compared to this one, that thread's like almost all the way gone. No oh, good. Another thing I like to add what happens, look at the color of those and the color of these. These things just corrode with time. So you don't get a good connection if you want to jump it or um, charge it. These are pretty rusted. One's actually off the Impala, I believe. One is stock. Because they're pretty beat up. No corrosion. That's another thing. Check your terminals for corrosion. A lot of people hate these side post batteries. I never had a problem with them because I take good care of them. Same, I probably never had a problem with a top post either because I take care of it. Some people go, these things suck. They leak, they break off. No, you're just doing it all wrong freaking wrench that's like this long so that long you're making them too tight you're making them too loose and uh like i see in my previous videos once a year at least uh check that these things are tight because um they will loosen especially when you disconnect the battery you have to retorque it a couple miles down the road like these ones are almost loose when i loosen them so i'm talking again okay, might rain soon I'm um, going to put some dielectric grease that they coat around here and the threads on the face of our terminals and then reassemble and that's it and reset all your stuff and your engine will run funny because the computer has to reset and then you'll be good. Then when you reinstall put your positive on first then your negative so you don't spark. Put your negative on then your positive you blow up. Ha 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 make sparks. So that's it. Let me just put that back on. We'll show you everything back together. Even though everyone knows what a connected battery looks like. I need battery in my Napa. And uh, show you some Mexican grass. Make a mess. In one of these communities like this, which pretty much suck. That's why he's parked so far over. They cut all this shit down. Look at that. Yes. Alright, we're snugging them up. That's how they should look when they're tight. And, uh, yeah, clean that too. The battery cable looks like brand new almost. A little dirt over there. And my fusible links coming off of it. So, that looks good. Hopefully, um, that will allow it to be charged easier. So I don't drive this thing a lot. I don't drive a lot anymore. I drive other people's cars. You be. But, um, that. And, um, it might stay tight. Let's look at these things. I really should replace these and replace the battery because I probably boogered up the threads a little bit, but it's still tighten up, so you know what? I'm fine. Until then, I'm gonna start it up. My mirror is probably messed up now. My fancy Gentex. This cob job is holding together with all the rain we've been having. Gentex is gonna be off. Me reading that I'm facing like west and I'm not facing north. So that rattle. I think the transmission cross member, the, uh, the mount, smashed down on the back, so it's making the whole engine go down. Therefore, um, the pipe rattles, because it's all connected. So, we'll play around all this stuff. Put the AC on again. Blend the cold. And 
said this, uh, 12 something o'clock. What is it? If she could really, okay. Cool. The only person who sets my uh, clocks too, like perfect to the uh, phone, I wait till the minute changes. So I'm crazy. No one else does that. So, be crazy. 86 degrees only. Hello.